Hello, everybody, Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy over Ray Hills, and welcome to another day full of tea, another weekend, a very special weekend here because it is pre Halloween. But you know that the parties are starting since yesterday, okay? Like right here, yesterday, I went a little bit around LA. There was so many Halloween parties. Everyone is already dressing up, everyone is already having fun. I am about to also get ready. I'm, I'm going to a little party later today. It's going to be so much fun. I love Halloween. I think it's, I love pretty much every single holiday where you decorate and dress up and have fun. You know, like that's my thing, you know? So Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, my birthday, like, <laughs> you know, all of that. I love every single one of them. Let me just move here a little bit, okay so girl it is time to talk about the real housewife of new york okay and if you're new here and you're a fan of roni girl subscribe 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 and hit the notification bell because we are on our way to 40k and you want to be part of this family who keeps growing and growing okay so make sure to subscribe right now Girl, let's talk about Roni because tomorrow is going to be the second part of the reunion. And then we are going to be finito for this season. I cannot even, my girl, already 15 weeks, 16 weeks, I think in total. How? How? Like, I still remember watching Roni, like at the beginning, 16 weeks. I mean, it's crazy it's crazy and they did such an amazing job um this season i mean i am living for bravo i love every single one of my real housewives franchises real housewives there are some that i am mm -mm -mm, you know but all my real housewife shows i mean i could get 20 more cities and i still will watch every single one of them i love 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 i live for it and I think what they did with New York was honestly amazing. I have a little bit of, you know, suspicion. And at the beginning, you know, I didn't know how it was going to go. But this cast was just perfection. So kudos to Bravo, to the casting company, to the production company. You know, they did an amazing job. Even though these girls are great, great sometimes and they go like the extra mile. There still, it was perfection. And I believe that we just saw all of this shit that happened, right? On their first season. I think as the seasons continue to go and they get a little bit more season, we are going to start watching some like true colors and some craziness coming from these ladies. And talking about craziness, girl, let's talk about Miss Uba Hassam girl i was like where was this uva during the whole show because honestly the only moment that we saw like a little bit of like uva activated was you know with the whole airing and snatching the glasses situation but then with nothing more you know i mean we saw the little part of jenna and 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 the and the if there is gonna be cameras you you have to tell me if there's gonna be cameras you know i was like okay but like the whole her whole season was very mellow, right? But now she's really getting those claws out there, and she is demanding. You know, um, I was, I don't know if it's respect, but it's more kind of like her 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 position. I think she is kind of like establishing her position. You know, I feel that if you know Bravo, you know that if you are situated at the end of the couches at the reunion. It's because you were not that important, right? So maybe she seeing herself being there kind of like activated something in her. Um, because the activation that we saw at, her reu at the reunion, like, again, is something that we never saw during the whole show. You know, so it was like, when, where was this Uba during the whole show? Look, I'm here for it, to be very honest. You know that I love Messy Housewife and... Uh, unless they become like disrespectful and we or weird, you know, I'm I'm here for the mess, right? But now, 
not only Uba is taking on Jen Alliance and the other ladies of, of New York, now she is coming after Tamara Judge. Girl, I, I did not see this one coming. And I don't know if they're going to be able to squash the beef at BravoCon. Girl, um, Tamara, you know, did an episode with Teddy on Titus and a Pod, you know, and she basically kind of like, she didn't trash, but kind of like, you know, talk about Uba in not a, a very favorable way, you know, but basically kind of like a little bit boring, you know, like she was a little bit boring. And Uba was not having it. Mm -mm -mm. So first of all, she claps back at Tamara Judge. And then she goes and leaks the text messages between her and Tamara. Girl, you're going to die. So for the clap back, uh, Uba posts on her Instagram, you know, and she says, at Tamara Judge, secure what, I know, secure what Apple, darling. I'm the tree, da. You know they, they edit this show to the moon and back. They no think random. They choose to edit that way to creating confusion, so people like you can talk. If you have got questions, send them my way. Sorry if my home, if my home makeup session bother you. FYI, I do what I want when I want. Side note, it's truly remarkable how some of you jump to conclusions thinking that my choice to keep my relationship private implies the man must be married. Not everyone thrives on seeking attention or airing their entire life for public consumption. And don't give me the BS, I signed up for this. My man didn't. By the way, I didn't go to the reunion for anyone. I was there to seek clarity from a bunch of passive-aggressive hacks. Girl. This is the part that is confusing me, okay? Because the, th the truth is, I am confused by Uba. Because she professed love for everyone. She is like, I love these girls. I love you, Erin. I love you, Jen. I love you, Bryn. I love you, Sai. Oh, my God. We are um, sisterhood forever, you know, like I love you, love you, love you. But then she is calling them names. She is implying other things. Oh, well, then we talk about how these two didn't want Jenna on the show. It's kind of like, where, where do you stand? I keep saying this. It's like a weird flip flopping, but it's not, it, she's not even flip flopping from one group to another. It's like, it's, it's, it's like, it's, if it's her against the world, you know, I don't know. It's a little bit weird. And now for uh, the text messages. Tamara Judge texts and said, Uba, we love you. Just didn't understand your anger towards Jenna. And yes, the Eddie thing. Sorry, I take it all back. Uba replies, I bear no grudge against Jenna. She shared her perspective in her confessional despite not being present for the full story. I found it crucial to address this and seek clarity. Regardless, cheese, I grew tired of discussing minor matters like cheese when more significant issues had arisen. And I appreciate that everyone was avoiding them and being passive. I wanted Jenna to know that the team she aligned with on the show didn't even want her. And then Tamara says, I wish they would have shown some more of your perspective. I feel like you started to bring stuff up but they glass over it. I got very, it got very confusing for the viewers. And Uba says, you know very well why they did that. Uh, Tamara says, love to have you on the podcast to hear more. Agree, no more cheese talk. And then, and then Uba says, no, thank you. The majority of people here resort to passive aggressive aggression and can't confront the truth. I won't waste my time on a group of biased viewers a costume to artificial interaction. Are you okay, Uba? Girl, I don't think she understands how reality TV works at all. I don't know. I feel that someone is not ready for Real Housewife because, girl, like, get used to this. I don't know. I mean, 
what do you guys think uh, let me know in the comments below and if you want to get all the tea related to the real house of new york or any of the other bravo shows make sure to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you around see ya bye